Shalom, beloved. It's a word. As I was reading Deuteronomy chapter 8 and Proverbs chapter 8, led by the Spirit, I'm going to share with you what the Spirit shared with me. He hath humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yahuwah does man live. Many of us have been humble, beloved. We've been humbled by broken hearts. We've been humbled by empty pockets. We've been humbled by having to work jobs we don't feel appreciated in, by losing what we think we should have gained and we've been humbled. But you see, when the Lord humbles us, it's not to break us, it's not to destroy us, but to bring us closer to him and to teach us what is true riches, to teach us what is true love. He humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger. He teaches us in the midst of our hunger when he feeds us with manna. He feeds us with things we did not work for. He sends us people that speak with true love because it's coming from the spirit of the Most High. He teaches us the value of things, not the value that the world gives it, but true value. He gives us riches that are not measured by silver and gold. He gives us durable riches, durable riches, beloved. Riches and honor are with me. Who is talking wisdom and durable riches and righteousness? That which is durable. A durable thing is long lasting, hard wearing, heavy duty, tough, resistant and strong. Adorable thing, able to withstand wear, pressure, or damage, hard wearing. Adorable thing when he gives us his word, his spirit, his backing. No matter how many times you use it, it is just as strong as when you first received it. It is just as powerful. It is just as forceful. It is just as certain as the first time you used it, whether you used it one time, 10 times, or a thousand times, it is equal in force and power in strength and in certainty. Why? Because it is durable, beloved. But in order to get us to understand, he has to humble us and suffer us to hunger. When we become hungry, we draw nigh to him. And we recognize the power and the glory and the trueness of his love. We begin to appreciate the things we already have. And we begin to recognize some things that we are taught that have value, have no value at all. The Lord is telling them in Deuteronomy chapter 8, and many of us are guilty of this, that once we have all the things that we need, when thou hast eaten and are full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he giveth thee. Some of us, when we are have eaten and are full, we don't always remember to bless the Lord. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments, judgments, statutes, which I command thee this day. He's telling them, and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied and all that thou hast is multiplied. And then thy heart is lifted up and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt. Some of us, when we are full, we have forgotten from whom our blessings flow. Some of us will say my power and my might the might of my hand hath gotten me this wealth.
But thou shalt remember that the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers this day. He humbles us to draw us nigh, not to break us, not to destroy us. He humbles us, beloved, in order for us to recognize that it is not by the power of our hands or our might that we have anything wherein he has blessed us. Beware lest thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments. When thou hast eaten and art full, yes, and has built goodly houses and dwelt therein. He humbles us, he corrects us in order to draw us nigh, and his wisdom speaks to us. You see, when we remember his wisdom, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy in the evil way, and the foul mouth do I hate. He's telling me them, I love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me. Some of us, beloved, some of us need to remember the fear of the Lord and that he has humbled us to draw us nigh. The Lord, when he speaks, he will speak of excellent things, that humbling that we are experiencing, beloved. Some of us have lost the love of our children. Some of us have enemies that think they can scourge our lives. Some of our enemies are members of our own families that think nothing of destroying our lives. They want to take your name and make you nothing. Some of them think nothing of attempting to turn your own children against you. But the Lord, is watching everything and he humbles us so that when he brings in that good fruit, that manna, we recognize that it is by his hand. He gives us might that we can go forth and gain riches. But the riches that he gives are durable riches. They are durable riches. And we begin to understand what riches are Riches are having people around us who don't mean us harm. Riches are being able to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Riches are being able to lay down safely in your bed and sleep with peace. Riches are to being able to discern evil from good. They are durable riches when we honor the Most High and the blessings He gives us. They don't wear out. They don't run out. Their force and their strength are just as powerful as the first time he gave us the revelation of them by honoring him. So if you are humbled, it is not for your destruction. It is not for your harm, but for your growing that when the manna comes down, the manner of a good word, a good word spoken in a time of need, the manner of living waters that come forth in a dry place and they quench that thirst in your spirit, that manner of a true friend, that manner of peace in your house, that manner of I will make a way out of no way, and you will know for certain that the Lord's hand did it. That manner that the Lord gives, that we realize upon waking, in the midst of trouble, suddenly there is peace in your heart. In the midst of confusion, suddenly the manner of a clear mind, a sound mind, yes, 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 that manner that in the midst of a broken heart, love comes in. A love that does not desire all that you have in order to justify you getting love. No, that true love comes in. The manner of recognizing 
You are a child of the Most High. You are chosen by him. The manner of recognizing that there are those in this world that are considered rich, but are wretchedly poor because the riches they have are not durable. They are going to face a judgment for the evil they have done. They do not honor Yah. The manner of knowing that one of these old days, when this life is over, you're going to rise up to everlasting joy. The manner of knowing the spirit of the Lord is in your house and drives out all evil. The manner of knowing that when you call, Yahuwah will answer you. The manner of knowing his spirit is resting in love for you. The manner of knowing that when you are wrong, you ask the most high for forgiveness and do the evil no more. The manner of the spirit of the Lord, the manner of knowing it is an exalted glory to exalt and glorify Yahuwah. It is a blessing to bless him. It is a blessing to thank him from whom all our blessings flow. It is a word, beloved. He humbles us. Yes, yes, yes. He humbles us. Yes, but the reasons that he humbles us. Yes. And suffered us to hunger and fed us with his manner. This is a manner we don't know. Yes, 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 yes. He humbles us. That his glory may come in and bless us and teach us and keep us that we have life everlasting. Yes, beloved, we are sinners and we know it. Blessed be the word Yahuwah. Blessed be Yeshua HaMashiach that came in and gave his life for us that we may have life in this land and have it more abundantly. And that we may wake up to everlasting life. Yes, that manna, that bread that came down from heaven. Yes, yes, yes. He humbles us that we forget him not and honor the true riches of his spirit. It is a word beloved. Shalom.